What's up, YouTubers? Um, here trying to post another video for maintenance from my car. Uh, my car is a Chevy Volt 2012, and I got the manual here. What I'm doing today is doing the spark plugs replacement. So I'm just gonna do a tune up, replace that. I already did the oil change. As you can see here on the bulk, it says, this is the manual book for the maintenance. Uh, I don't know if you have the Chevy Vault, you should have this too. If you don't, I can show you the maintenance requirements. For my car now has 127,000 miles. So right now with 120, 127. So the check mark goes to Rotate tires perform required services. I already checked engine oil level. I already replaced the oil change today. Change engine oil and needed. And right here says the cleaner already replaced that too. Might as well because 127 already. The spark plugs on its back and plug. So on that side there, that check mark right here shows that's on 100, uh, close to 100, it's about 97,000 miles, 97,500. 97.5 miles. I didn't want to wait till it gets too long, so I'm on 127 right now. I'm already replacing this prop plug joint just for safety measure. So, by the way, this is the uh, measurement. If you have the manual for Chevy Volt, I think I believe it's the same it's from 2012 to 2013. So, on page 12, 3. So it shows the gap, 0 0.20, 0 0.027 inch, 0 0.7 millimeter. So this, of course, is four cylinder automatic four engine, 1.4 liter four. So that's that's the gap for the uh, spark plug. I'll give you the spark plug uh, part that I replace it with. And um, I'm going to show you guys which uh, old spark plugs that I have also. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of that now. So before we start removing the cover to take out the spark plug uh, wires, you got to take this out. I'm sorry, not spark plug wires, the whole spark plug itself. Take this out, there's two bolts. This is 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Then you got to take this out to the clamps. You just need a, uh, a flat head for that, which is this. I already took that out. You just have to loosen it up so you can remove this. You can remove this top cover. All right, before we do that, uh, here's the tools that we're going to need. A wrench, long nose extension wrench, the 10 millimeter wrench. It's too bright. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Yeah, that's a 10 millimeter. And a... 5x8 wrench too to take out the spark plugs. I have a Craftsman. Some models, like the generic ones, has the little rubber in the inside. So once you put this in inside the plugs and you run, you're trying to install, uninstall it, it'll grab it to take it out. But I don't have that, so I have these. So it's again, it's 5 5 8 and this is 10 millimeter for your your screws here. To take it out and. So I don't have the rubber for these, so I need I use uh, long nose, uh, long nose pliers. So this is very helpful when you grab it there. So I'll show you guys that later too. And you're gonna need some Allen wrench. The Allen wrench. This is for taking out the top cover. I'll show you that too. So the size for these, you can barely see it, but I could see it because it's too bright. It's pretty small. You can barely see it, but the size of these. For the Allen wrench you're going to need is 5 and 32. So again, this is 5. That's right. So it's 5 slash 32. So it's 5 by 32. All right. This is a Craftsman tools that I use. So most of my tools are just Craftsman. I have either generic ones, but I usually just use the Craftsman. Of course. And you're going to need the spark plugs so this is the old one I already took it out but I'm gonna show you guys how to take it out uh, a simpler terms this is the old one this is the part number uh, apparently the dealer might have used the AC Delco 
This is the part number. I could just give it to you guys. AC Delco 5558-5534. So 41-122. You can barely see it from the camera. Um, that's why I'm just reciting it for you guys so you guys can remember. So it's 41-122. It's an AC Delco brand. Uh, 5558. 5534. So the gap on these should be point zero point zero twenty seven. So when I bought uh, the new one, I uh, went for the iridium, uh, iridium spark plugs. So I wanted to um, change it instead of the regular. I think this is just the regular AC Delco. But when I looked it up on Amazon, I looked this and bought this on Amazon. It's not too much. Uh, I got four for 30 so you guys do the math 4 divided by 30 by 30 so 30 by divided by 4 so you just get that's including taxes and and shipping so I got it for 30 bucks so this is the part for the idiom um, NGK that I use so it's made by Japan the AC Delco is also made by Japan um, you can see it from here uh, it's, you can barely see it it's too bright over here it's kind of noon time right now when I'm doing this so it's kind of hot outside so it's just made in Japan and put that away. Sorry about that. So this NGK is also made in Japan, which is pretty cool. Apparently they did it, they do make a great brand or good product. So it's a Chevy using a, a Japanese parts, which is fairly normal from uh, Chevy's base to Japanese inside right here, encryption right here. So in GK, this is what I'm going to use. So the part for these would be BKR6EIX. Again, I'll repeat that. It's BKR6EIX. I could also show you guys here. So you go. So that's that's the part number. Oh, it's too bright. Hold on. There we go. So there you go. That's the part number. That's a stock number 6418, but that's the part number here for this brand that I'm using in GK alright so I'm just gonna show you something this is the old one this is the new one so it's fairly the same although the old one kinda look like it's almost close to the end of it where there's a spark so 0 0.027 is the gap so that's the old this is the new one I got it's about similar but you can see you could slightly see the difference for the new one it's a little bit not close to the end of it but uh, the old one is almost close to it all right anyways enough of that let's go back to how to dismantle the cover and change the spark plugs all right guys so as I said you're gonna need a 10 millimeter to remove these I already took this out it's already 10 millimeter that I loosen it up just put this away so I'll loosen this up and this too, I'm loosening them up already too for the flathead. And that one, so I already took this out. That's where I go, and then I took that out. Then you just take out the top cover plastic, put that away. I put it somewhere safe. And here we go. So this is my engine bay. Um, of course, this is the full electric for the electric motor for the Chevy vault and this is the engine and this is where the this is where the spark plugs reside so this is four cylinder right one two three four so it'll be inside there so what you're gonna do is before you take this out it might be too tight there which I had a hard time taking it out just play around with it a little bit don't force it because if you force you might break this whole plastic thing and there's a, a electrical clamp right here so you might have to take this out slowly this one was too hard also so i have to play around with it to wiggle it out a little bit more when you press these and then push it out that way which i already did and you have two star screws right here you can use i didn't have any star so you could use the allen wrench remember i told you the size was five and 32 so this was fairly fitted but if you have a star screw you could take that out too so I used this 532 wrench it, Allen wrench and it took it so I already took that out so 
Put that away. See how long that is? Okay, put that away. So now we're going to take out this top part. Again, this was fairly hard earlier, but I already took it out. So I just have to play around and say, there you go. So now you took out the part. This is where your wire plugs. So this one's a little bit heavier. Be careful with this. If you crack this or break this, you might have to replace this with the original part. I think there's some cylinder around or something. So in, based on that, I think this is where the spark plug connections is to connect to your four cylinder spark plugs right there. So we're going to go ahead and take that out. To take it out, you're going to need to take it out with... Okay, remember you're going to use the 5 8, to, uh, five eight inch millimeter. Take that out. Put that in there. Get your wrench. So the way you do it is reverse clockwise. I'm sorry, I gotta cut myself. I apologize, not clockwise. Clockwise when you tighten it up, counterclockwise when you remove the spark plugs. Just like when you're taking out the oil filter. All right, take this out. Okay, loosen it up. You should just hand on it. Okay, so remember I said Others has that little rubber thing inside, so now I didn't pick it up. Now I'm going to have to use my long nose. There we go. So that's the old one. It's kind of corroded already. You know, it's only 127,000 miles, so it's... That's why I just wanted to be safe and take it out and replace it with a new one. You guys can see that. That's the old one. I should have took out the old one. Still not that bad. Still doing all right, but just to be safety, there's still some corrosion there a little bit. So, just might as well just get a replace. Try to get some good mileage on this Chevy Vault. All right, this is the old one. Let me put this away. There's our new one again. Uh, if you have any questions regards to the part, let me know again. Again, this is the radium. Uh, NGK that I'm using BKR6EIX. Let's go ahead and put that in. Tighten it up by hand first. Okay, this part you don't want to tighten it up too tight because you might just break uh, something on the screw heads. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten it up hand tight, probably like half a pound or less I haven't checked the torque uh, pounds on it yet but I don't have to torque it I'll just do this by hand okay now you're gonna do clockwise tidying up right remember okay now let's turn once I think it's tidying up all right cool time to put this back uh, you can never get wrong on this because if you reverse it you don't have the connector for that so you just put this that way, just follow where the connector is. Put this away. Now we're done. Then push it a little bit. Until it's tightened up. You'll see, I hear a little bit snap in there. <clears throat> Plug that in. Okay, then you click this. Put the two screws. Tight that up. I'm gonna tight that up all up together and put the plastic together. Alright, put the plastic top cover. Put those two screws in. Put the other one here. Tight this up, align it, tighten it up. All the way in, tight it up, and you're all set. Then test the car. You should be good to go. All right, guys. Uh, go make a comment, questions, subscribe. Whichever you have any question with, let me know. Uh, ask me for the part number or, or what you might have. Peace.